ladies and gentlemen, that was our first two bouts. Moving on to the third bout. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 172 centimeters tall, weighing in at 60 kilograms, representing, representing out of Dominate MMA, with a record of one win and no losses. His name is Ong Chi Shang. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, standing 170 centimeters tall, weighing in at 63 kilograms, representing out of King's Muay Thai Academy, with a record of one win and one loss. His name is Justin Tan! at all time, follow the wrist at all time, no knee to the head, no elbow at all, no cringing, no throwing, no sweeping, no hugging. Clear? Okay, good luck, all the best. Back to your corner. Round number one. Big hit as we kick off our very first round. Strong low kick there coming from Ong Chi Seng. Sorry, coming from Justin Tan. Justin Tan with the blue gloves. Ong Chi Seng in the red gloves. These are nasty kicks that we can hear out from the audience. Big blows here from these guys. Great, one shot after the other. Well, it's not just one, they're, com at, they're coming at each other at multiple combinations of punches and kicks. Low kick attempt, but blocked. Nice body kick there from Ung Chi Singh, and now he comes up top. Ung Chi Singh expecting more. Japan, however, finding his range. You can see the side of the body of Justin Tan already starting to swell up the redness at the side of the ribs. Those are the successful kicks from Ung Chi Seng. Again, those body kicks connects for Ung Chi Seng. Quite hard to tell whoever's leading in the scoreboards because both fighters are connecting just as well. That is the end of round number one. Continue on with this fight. This fight is brought to you by Cheetah Mall. Thank you to Cheetah Mall for giving us this venue for our first ever event of 2020. As we kick off our third fight of the second round between Ung Chi Singh in the red gloves and Justin Tan in the blue gloves. So far in the very first round, it's been, it's been an equally matched fight. As both fighters managing to hit each other. I would say that Justin Tan has been much more successful in the boxing area where most of his punches has been really effective. However, Ung Chi Seng has been more effective within his kicks. You can see on the, on the left side of Justin Tan is really starting to swell up. Not much I can say about that. You can see from the ribs it's starting to turn very red. It's only a matter of time. If he keeps on working that side, it's going to turn blue. But now both fighters get, as they engage again for a brawl of exchange. Body kick, but slipped.
non-stop going at it between these two. Justin Tan just enjoying the trades. And that will be the end of the second round. a strong sweep. Yeah, that's a legal technique. When you catch the opponent's leg, you are allowed for one strike. Either it's a punch, kick or knee. I was about to ask you that question, Alex. Though the sweep looks very beautiful, not necessarily legal in the rule set that we apply here today. Yeah, totally agree. But how do you fare the boxing of Justin Tan, Justin in the blue gloves? Both are going for knockouts, but um, yeah, depends depends on the judges because they will calculate more accurately than us, the uh, layman audience. Yeah, so I think I think it's a matter of who lands more clearer shots will win the fight. Well, like the way Eng Chi Seng has just managed to land a clear left hook towards his opponent. But when it comes to those kind of barrages, if you were a judge, what are you actually, like other than the fact that it's clear, it's very hard to tell? Well, um, I think it depends on sanctioning body and um, different organization, how you want to set the criteria for scoring. Okay, based on my last one, 19 years of experience in the pro scene, I would say it depends on the judge you whether it's you count by number of clear shots or number of power shots, which which one, which tip of the balance you're going for, yeah. But of course, if you're talking about certain organization like uh, like IBA Amateur Boxing for Olympic, they don't look at power at all. They just count number of clear shots. So you can be landing a lot of clear shots and no power at all and win an Olympic gold medal for boxing. Uh, just to give you an example. Alright, and I have the results in my hands and winning by unanimous decision goes to the blue corner of G.